already showed you the rivet method of attaching your aluminized heat shield to whatever it is that you want to protect from heat. The only problem with the rivet method is that rivets are kind of semi-permanent. You have to drill them out to remove them. So you'd have to slip that thing over whatever it is that you're protecting. Now there is another method that's more convenient and it is using these snap buttons. And you can find these at your local hardware store, arts and crafts stores, or possibly on eBay by the hundreds or thousands if you need that many. And these are 3 8 inch uh, button snaps. And I've already cut out my template that I want. Um, so I went and measured whatever it was that I want to protect from heat. And I'll show you how to use the button snaps to make this thing a removable heat shield. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark off the locations on your heat shield. I've just used little dots where you're gonna to wanna to put your button snaps. And you're gonna take either a hole punch, if it's the appropriate size, or an X-Acto knife, or a sharp screwdriver, or something, and you are going to poke your holes to allow your fasteners to pass through the material. Now, I will be attaching these button snaps uh, with rivets, and there are multiple ways of doing this. The button snaps actually come in two pieces, so each, each button half has a mating piece, and I think they're called posts and maybe studs, and they pass through the holes, and then you can use a special tool to do the same thing pretty much a rivet does. You just smash the other end, and it expands and holds this button half in place. Like I said, I'm going to be using rivets to accomplish the same thing because it's actually cheaper. I had to go to the hardware store to buy these button snaps and a combination of a single button cost like $3 or something. So it was kind of expensive. I basically cut that cost in half by using cheap rivets to attach this. So now that we have our holes poked through, let's set up a rivet and I'm going to show you how to do that and we'll finish this up. So very similar to how we used just the rivet method, what we're going to do is we're going to pinch the heat shield material uh, with a button half, a rivet, and on the back side you'll see a backing plate. And these are made for whatever size rivet you have. In this particular case I'm using a 1 8 inch rivet with I believe a 3 16 inch grip length and that's more than enough to, to grab onto this material and sandwich it together. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the rivet tool to snap this thing into place. Okay, so there you go. You can see the rivet head in the half, in this button half. On the back side, there's the plate. And of course, there's the back half of the rivet. And that's secured firmly into place. And what we're going to do then is of course, wrap this around. I'm going to be wrapping a fuel line in this stuff. So you can wrap this around and you'll see the intent here is to of course snap this half to this half and you'd have a tube to protect your fuel line. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side. I'm going to basically mark off the location that matches up with a sharpie and I'm going to repeat the process with of course the other half of the button snap and I will rip that into place in the exact same manner. So as you can see, I've installed the other half of the button snap on this side because of course we are going to be wrapping this around a fuel line. So obviously this and this have to mate up to snap together and which once they're pressed together, you can see that it's snapped and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing down the rest of uh, this piece of heat shield material. And essentially what we'll get is a tube that we can snap together and snap apart to take on and off a hose without having to slide it off the end because there's probably a fitting and you don't want to take the fitting off and so on and so forth. Okay, so we're sitting in the engine bay of my car right now and this is the heat shield that we just created with the button snaps and of course that is going over the fuel line like I mentioned earlier. And as you can see it fits around nice and snug. There's still a little bit of a gap in between and it covers it nicely. The next thing I want to show you guys is how you can use these button snaps to fix these uh, fabric heat shields to something like a structural member of your car or a piece of sheet metal. So the button snaps we attached earlier on this guy were attached with rivets and we're going to be doing the same thing 
on this structural member here. It's probably maybe like two millimeters thick uh, worth of steel. So we're gonna pop some holes in there and we're gonna attach the button snaps. And the whole reason for doing that is I have a brake line down here. I'm gonna have my exhaust running very close to that brake line. So I wanna protect it from radiant heat. So I'm gonna wrap the, the heat shield around to the other side, button snaps on the other side, and we'll have a removable heat shield that protects that brake line. Okay, so I got my three holes. One, two, three, for three button snaps. I'm gonna take my rivets. In this case, I'm using stainless steel rivets. I don't want any corrosion issues. And we're gonna test fit them. They fit nicely. And obviously we're gonna be using these to secure the button snaps to this piece of steel. And I'm going to actually hit these holes with a little bit of spray paint just beforehand, prevent any further issues with corrosion. There's the button snap I'm gonna use, stainless steel rivet through the center into, we'll do this hole first, into the hole, and of course the rivet tool. And we're just gonna pop these in. Anytime you're working with rivets, be sure to wear your safety glasses. I'm wearing them right now. And there you go, fastened into place, very secure, not rattling, not moving at all. So let's do the other three. Okay, one, two, three button snaps now into place. None of them rattle, they're riveted in nice and solid. We're gonna go to the other side of this structural member. I already have the wheel and everything removed so it's easy to access. And we're gonna do the same thing with the same style of snap on the other side. So now with the other side complete, I can size up how much of this material I'm gonna need can see right about that much I might cut it off this end just a little bit and I kind of went ahead and already marked off the locations of the center of each of these buttons so obviously I'm gonna put the other half of the button snaps into this material here and we're gonna go shiny side out to reflect all of the radiant heat from the exhaust and it'll simply wrap underneath and we'll do the same on the other side and the brake lines here will be protected from that radiant heat Okay, I have all three button snaps into place. I've snapped them in, as you can see, it's on there nice and snug. And we're gonna wrap, go over to the other side and wrap this around and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so the other side is finished. It's buttoned into place. And as you can see, it's not going anywhere. It's secured nice and tight and the brake line is now protected. So this is just another easy way of attaching these flexible fabric type heat shields to pretty much anything in your engine compartment or anything that needs to be protected like brake lines, fuel lines, your starter motor, anything you'd like. There's multiple ways to do it. These are just a few. And I hope that gives you guys a better idea of how to work with this sort of thing and gives you guys some ideas of what you can use it for, for your own projects.